you are welcome back to my youtube channel i appreciate you all for always coming to my channel from time to time watching my content liking my videos and commenting i appreciate you all and if you have not been doing that please i will ask you that you should start doing that that is the only way you can support me with this channel you liking it, my videos we make youtube to recommend my videos to other people that are not even searching for my channel all right but are searching for my content is that okay and people commenting we make youtube to take a review on my videos and if it is useful they would like to also publicize it is that okay and also about subscribing it helps me to reach a larger audience so all the three works together to be <laughs> So today, I want to teach you guys how, how, or should I just say, my own discoveries on Autodesk Sketchbook application. All right, so this app, what it deals with, what it's, what I've gotten, you know. So this is going to be episode one on my discoveries. Good. So the first thing I would like to tell you is on still uh, on this selection. Likewise, this transform is that okay? Uh, so I want to. Tell you guys what I have discovered about the two, what you can do. Uh, for practical aspects, I think we should just take uh, a picture. Let me import a picture, uh, for example, to show you what I'm talking about. Actually, okay, um, okay, just let me go to this reference. That is okay, and uh, I want to see a picture I can use as an example. I want a picture that is facing me directly. Uh, Okay, let's use this Tony Tony Stark picture. And just let me zoom. Oh, good. Okay. So now I click on the check mark. So now, if you look at these two pictures, all right, you see it's like they have. I mean, the heights now. It's like they have uh, the same components. You know, this picture itself is as if it's edited already. And yes, it is. All right now. So for example, uh, okay, now. Just let me choose any tool to draw something, you know, just very quickly. Now, for example, let me start with the highs and let me choose another tool for that. I love to use my paint tape, right? All right. <clears throat> All right, now, can you see what I just do? And now I can decide, just listen carefully, please. Now, if I decide to use my transform tool on this, you know, I'll be able to shift this. And uh, what you know before. Is that if you want to use transform it will affect all this layer any layer where this blue border is found it has to mean that every action performed will have effect on it good now let me draw another line here now if i should use transform too okay just for you guys to understand let me duplicate this and merge it so that it will be more bold okay now so let me duplicate and then keep one now this is what you know before now let me use my transform tool on this one i duplicated all right so transform can you see it's selecting the two together can you see so any effect i'm putting on one it will surely have effects on the other part it's selecting them together all right now let me undo that you know when i first draw this line here i edited it i used my transform to make it come to this side now look at this side also it's not going to where i want to i just decide to use my transform and let's see what will happen to it. You see, it will have effect on the other part there, and it's even having effect upwards there. Can you see what it's turning it to? All right, can you see that? Good. Now, my discovery on this. Let us keep this. All right. So this is the initial one I drawn. Is that okay? Now I want to use transform tool, and I don't want it to have effect on this one here. Is that okay? Remember, I have used my transform tool on this one before before coming to draw this and then i want to use my transform tool on this again but oh it's on a, it's on one uh layer now what is the solution to that let's see now i will have to use my selection all right and i'll use this my lasso is that okay and then i'll circle what i want uh, the effect on for example now you discover i'm not selecting the picture i imported i wholly set now i'm even wrong on the layer i have presently if i want to select anything it will be on the layer you are trying to make the effect to be on. Now, if I'm selecting the picture I imported, then no matter what, any effect I want to put, it will not have effect on the sketch at all. Is that okay? But I want it to have only effect on the sketch for this part. So I'll use my selection and then I circle the sketch. Remember, it is the only this is the layer for the sketch. Alright. Now 
let me use this transform tool don't worry it will deselect as if it is not selecting all right but that doesn't really matter now let me turn it to this side all right you see what i'm trying to do soon you just watch i'm just trying to do anything just anything all right okay uh, i don't know the shape i okay just let me just leave it like this is that okay now i'm trying to prove a point to you here now do you see this sketch is still in its normal position unlike this one that i duplicated now i use my transform anything i want to do it will have effect on the two so the selection i used i have used it to part both of them but note the moment you click on your check mark the two are joined together again now this is what i'm saying let me be on the layer and then use my transform. Can you see it's selecting the two again? Can you see that? By clicking on this, my uh, this sort. All right. You see it's still selecting the two. But if I don't want it to select the two, I'm saying what I said again. You have to use your selection tool. And this is your lasso. Is that okay? Then you select the sketch. Now use your transform. Then anything you are doing on this is, is like uh, pattern there. You understand so anything i'm doing on it that's why the fact that it's still on one layer it will never have effect on any other part good now let me use another example for you i will, I will make a tutorial soon that i will use it maybe on the bs and all of that now this is the picture important locate it all right now let me use my selection tool okay firstly if i'm not using my selection tool and i just click on transform let's see what will happen to the picture can you see can you see how the picture is shifting? Good. So let me check, click on my check mark and then undo what I just did. Okay. Now, let me now use my transform, uh, my selection tool. Let me use it to select the eyes. Okay. But firstly, let me zoom in. I don't want to select the eyebrow. I just want to select the eyes. All right. Just the eyes. Now, let me use my selection tool and my lasso. All right. I'm trying to only select just the highs now you see i have select the highs now don't click on the cancel or anything don't click anything just click on back on this tool and then transform is that okay now i can make it big you understand me now so i can choose to make it big as anyhow i want and i can even cut any part of this body and put it anywhere else is that okay now if i should leave it like this that is how it's gonna be that is how it's gonna be that's how it's gonna be all right so, so i'll click on the check mark now it will become part of the picture again i don't know if you guys understand now check so it's not on different layer it has become one layer so now they cannot be separated again unless i select it again do you understand good so that's my discovery for now and you can still use it on beards for example if i draw you know something on this area like i don't know but you know i just draw something and maybe i'm just discovering that it's somehow uh, when i'm drawing the other part it's not becoming like this i can decide to just duplicate all right and then use my transform and then you know i will change the flip good all right but if i uh, the thing i have drawn is it has full the layer already i can just decide to select select and use my lasso you know okay maybe i just want to select a line here all right now i will use my lasso to do that okay so now let's see i'll transform then just that line just that one it will be more bigger you know, it's still on one layer actually, but I just decide to make that one a little bit more bigger than others. And I click on the check mark, yet it's still on one layer. Do you understand? You know, the knowledge you have is that, okay, anything that is on the layer, it cannot be changed unless you are creating a new layer for, for a new task. Do you understand? But now with this discovery, I'm very sure, even just on one layer, you can edit anything you want. Is that okay? You can edit anything you want, anything whatsoever. Thank you guys for watching. And I would like you to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not done that before. And if this channel is so interesting to you, please subscribe. Uh, tell your friends about it. Share the links of these videos and uh, let your friends likewise subscribe. Like this video. Don't just come and watch and just disappear, please.
leave a comment and god bless you as you do so so be waiting for the episode 2 on my discoveries thank you very much